The Boston Celtics had one of the biggest mid-season turnarounds in recent NBA history. When the Celtics got off to a rough start to the season, many of us were just waiting for the wheels to fall off. Marcus Smart called out Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown for not getting their teammates more involved. And early on, this team was just not working well together. Not to mention the various injuries that kept this team from building chemistry and defensive presence. By late December, it looked like a complete disaster. The team's offense was hovering around the NBA's bottom 10. The Celtics had fallen to 23 and 24, 10th place in the Eastern Conference, a half a game ahead of the New York Knicks for the final spot in the play-in tournament. Ime Udoka, a first-time head coach, looked like he was in over his head. But it was probably the game against the Wizards when Tatum dropped 51 points to get the team back to 500. That was the turning point of the season. Since that moment, the Celtics have transformed into arguably the NBA's best team, finishing the regular season with one of the league's top records in that time span. It's crazy to think about now that there was chatter about breaking up the two stars on the team. But instead of jumping the gun and blowing it all up, the Celtics front office held firm and eventually Tatum and Brown played like all-stars at the same time. They put to bed the early season doubts about their ability to coexist. It was Marcus Smart, Brown, and Tatum that pushed this team through a bad start early in the season. And now it's one series away from winning the franchise's 18th championship. There's not really that much pressure to get a draft pick right when it's in the 50s. Just finding a talented prospect who you feel could be molded into the player you need is all you can ask for. With the 53rd pick in the draft, the Boston Celtics select Ryan Rollins from the University of Toledo. Rollins is a combo guard who is a smooth shot creator with the ability to create for not only himself, but for others. He has a great feel for the game, and even after two years in college, he's still only 19 years old. Rollins has tight handles and a quick first step to help break his man down in isolations, allowing him to get to his spots on a regular basis. He has total control of his body and finishes well through contact at a high level connecting on 47% of his floaters and 59% of his shots at the rim. Three-point shooting is one of the biggest knocks against Rollins, but he did have a 57% true shooting percentage, which is proof that he can improve his three-point game. As a freshman, he shot 32% from three, and that number fell to 31% this past season. Rollins was one of five sophomores to score 1,000 points over the last two seasons. He just has the right blend of skills needed to succeed at the NBA level. He's still young, still developing, and has great length. He stands at 6'3 with a ridiculous 6'10 wingspan. Rollins improved across the board during his sophomore season. Defensively, he projects to be solid on that end due to adequate foot speed and strong instincts creating turnovers. And he loves playing the passing lanes. If he can be a stellar three-level scorer while playing solid defense, he could safely be in the rotation of an NBA team. Because of his frame, his length, and great feel for the game, that gives me confidence that he can only get better.